Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peak game. So, Larsa Pippen, former wife of NBA Hall of Famer, Scotty Pippen, who played alongside Michael Jordan, arguably the greatest basketball player of all time. Scotty Pippen is considered top 75 greatest NBA players in history. Um, with that being said, we all know that there is a bit of a scandal going on. I guess you could say it is a scandal because... Uh, Michael Jordan's son, um, Marcus, is dating Larsa Pippen. And Larsa Pippen has went as far as to say that she's thinking about starting a family with uh, Marcus Jordan. Keep in mind, Marcus Jordan is the second eldest son of Michael Jordan, arguably the greatest player of all time. And Michael Jordan, depending on uh, where you do your research, they're saying Michael Jordan is worth anywhere from uh, two and a half to five billion dollars. So Michael Jordan is a very uh, wealthy man. And could Larsa be looking at this by having a baby by by Marcus as well? Basically, uh, Jordan heir. Now, keep in mind, Michael Jordan doesn't have to leave his grandchildren anything that he doesn't have to, you know, and all intents and purposes, usually when somebody passes away, um, usually the, you know, the next to can, which usually be the children, uh, go over the assets and who's going to get what. So he doesn't necessarily has to, you know, <laughs> put the baby in his will, but that's what she's thinking. But she figured, well, hell, if she has a baby with Marcus, Marcus or whatever, he'll get when Jordan passes on, um, He'll have to basically, due to the fact that she has a child with him, if she plans on having a child, well, that child is entitled to the Jordan, the Jordan fortune. But at the end of the day, this is just a, a bad look on Larsa Pippen. She just comes across as a, you know, uh, a skank. And it's just no other way to put it. I mean, out of all the, F, uh, the, the ex-athletes in the world to date why do it have to be the son of your ex-husband's former teammate? I mean, there's plenty of athletes out there to date. I mean, why why him? And some people are not buying Michael Jordan saying that he doesn't approve of this. Some people believe Michael Jordan may have played a role in orchestrating this to get even with Scottie Pippen due to the fact that Scottie Pippen has ripped Michael Jordan on several occasions. You know, for basically allegedly being like a, a, a snake and just other things. Now, some people are mad at Scottie Pippen because some people are just Jordan apologists and Jordan can do no wrong and in their eyes. But Scottie Pippen has every right to feel the way he feels because at the end of the day, we did go through it. He lived through it. I just think Larsa could just do better she could just go a different direction it's just a it's just a bad look but you live in a society where women are not held accountable for their actions they expect to be given a pass for basically everything they feel like they should be able to do whatever the hell they want with no consequences or accountability whatsoever so yeah uh she says she hasn't spoken to michael jordan in a while or hung out with him uh, you think uh, if I'm Michael Jordan, I don't want to be attached to this in no way, shape or form. I want to stay as clear away from this as possible. Yes, Marcus is a grown man, but still, Michael Jordan is very image conscious. So still, to a certain degree, whatever Marcus does or is involved in sort of still reflects Michael Jordan because of his name and his title and who he is. You know, Michael Jordan is one of the most recognizable uh, people on the planet. You know, for real. Everybody knows who Michael Jordan is and what he looks like. So therefore, you know, he has to be very conscious of what his name is attached to just because he's not a, you know, he's a brand now. He is a company. So. 
he just has to be careful. So I understand why he wants to stay as clear away from this situation as possible. But like I said, who knows behind the scenes what's being said, what has been said, and what has been orchestrated. If Michael Jordan orchestrated this to get even with Scottie Pippen for, you know, what he said about him and certain media media uh, outlets, what he said to him, um, what he said about him in interviews, well, shame on him. Michael Jordan should be at the point to where he ignores certain things because he's that big. But you've heard about Michael Jordan being petty. So nevertheless, um, yeah, I agree with Michael Jordan wholeheartedly. Stay the hell away from this situation. It's not a good look for you or your image. And he should, behind the scenes, encourage Marcus to go a different direction. There's plenty of women out there for him to date. Why it has to be her? You know, real talk. Anyway, it's your boy town. I'm out.